What has been the running sign? What has been the running theme in your life? Whatever that theme is, that that is your indication. That challenge that you have brought into your life, that's your indication. That's your indication that an opportunity awaits you. Something big is waiting for you on the other side of that. And I knew that I needed to make a pivot because I heard the whisper and I ignored it. I felt the little tap and I ignored that. Then here comes the loud shout. That was the sickness. And guess what? We don't have to wait for the shout. Don't wait for the shout. Move, pivot, change, turn and go the other way. Don't be like Jonah in the Bible where he ran from his assignment because of your apprehensiveness about what other people are going to think about you. Who cares about what other people are thinking? They don't even think highly of themselves. Most people don't think highly of themselves. Most people think about what other people are thinking. Therefore, they stop doing or will not do what they want to do with their life because they're worried about the opinions of other people. Most people don't even know who they are. And you're, you're worried about what other people who don't know who they are think about you when I've been telling you only 10% of the people in the world are self-aware. But the world is calling for you to be authentic. The world is calling you to align with your inner or your secret self. Forget what the what they say. You know, you there was a book when I was young that said they say. And I've even heard some teachers say that. And I even had used to say that with my with my children. They would say, Well, they said, who is they? Who is they? Don't come tell me nothing about what they say. They don't have a, a heaven. They don't have a hell. They don't have a window. They don't have a pot. They don't have nothing that can stop you. The only person that can stop you is you. The only reason why you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing is because of you. It's nobody else. It's just nobody else. And it's the, the imaginary people that you're making up in your mind. We're making up characters to go in our movie reel. We're making up people. Just what that's the same thing about the story of Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. Those were made up characters. Those are metaphysical characters that have been made up. The same story about Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz is made up characters to let you know you've had the power all along. It's always been with you. All you had to do was click your heels together. You've always had the ability. You've always been sovereign. You've always been enough, more than enough. You've always been capable. You've always been qualified. You were born with the goods. You were born for this. You were made for this. You came into this earth atmosphere on the right timeline. You're not a minute too early, not a minute too late. You came here to make a difference. You are a different maker, a difference maker. That's why you're here. And it is your time to shine. You have a light, but you're allowing what other people say to put the cap on your light. When the spirit world and everybody else, the collective conscious community is saying, take the lid off, just like the genie, just like the master took the genie, the cap off the genie, take the lid off so that you can shine bright like a diamond. So that the world can see you illuminating and glowing and vibrating and living and taking in charge, taking charge of your life. Because remember, you are the only one here. This is your world. You set the tone for your life. You set the tone for your life and for everybody else that's around you. It's you. It's you. And it's your time. It's you. 
and it's your time. That's my time for today. I hope you all have enjoyed this teaching for tonight. I love you. Bye.